Hello everyone. Today I want to do a quick demonstration on how to use the Echomatic, uh, including how to hook it up. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is we've got our in and out for our guitar, in from guitar, out to amp. Next thing we've got here is the in from tape out, right here on the red connection, and out to tape in on the white connection. This I have this Marantz 3 head. Uh, it's a model PMD 221 cassette recorder and it's got the RCA line outs. So um, as I said before it's the first one here the red one is in from tape out so we've got the line out on the tape and then the white one is uh, out to tape in. So basically what all this does is it uh, cycles your guitar signal uh, through this uh, cassette recorder and records it on the tape and makes the echo. In order for this to work, uh, you're going to want to have, uh, and you can use probably any three head tape recorder on this one, or for this, but as long as it has these uh, in and out lines. On this, I've got this switch set. My input selector is on line. Uh, this other stuff, I don't know how much it matters. I've got that on zero dBs. This is all the way down. Got the microphone turned off. Very important on these. Uh, this tape or this uh, button here, the source tape. Uh, you want to make sure that this button is up, not down, because uh, if it's pressed in, it will not echo. Also, you've got your volume here. Uh, this is your record volume and this will also uh, affect how much feedback that you have uh, and how many repeats that you're going to get. On this side I've just got this uh, power supply hooked up to it. Um, over here on the tape selector I've got it on metal. It works on the other settings but I think metal works the best. I'm not going to do a whole lot of playing through this today. I just wanted to show you uh, how it works. So, of course, first you have to press your tape, uh, record and play buttons here. So I've already got it rolling. I've got this hooked up. Plug in my guitar. Out to amplifier. Right now I've got all the settings at roughly 12 o'clock. I've got my record volume at about 9. Now I'm going to roll it back to about 8. So let's see first, here's our clean signal. So that's with the uh, record level at 8 and all the settings at 12 o'clock. We've got volume, our mix, and our repeats. Uh, so let's turn up our repeats some. A little more. So we're getting a little more, a few more repeats there. We can have this come uh, through in our mix more if I just turn this up here. This is why I've got it set on 8 because you can see how it almost oscillates there the way it. Uh, repeats. I'm going to turn it up to 10 just to if you want to get a little more psychedelic. Roll this back down to 8. Or you can have it on 10 and have your repeats down low. Gives you a little more of a spacey kind of sound. Now, uh, if any of you have ever attempted to build the Echomatic, uh, one issue that I did run, in, run into uh, is at first I could not have the volume all the way up uh, or else it would make this high-pitched squealing sound. It's a very easy fix. On the one here that says out to tape in, it's going out from here in to the cassette. 
that one I jumped a uh, 10 UF capacitor from the positive signal out uh, to ground and that killed that squealing sound anyways uh, that's basically all I wanted to show you roll this back to 8 turn the mix up a little bit more turn the repeats up now if you guys want to see a better demo of somebody actually playing this pedal um, you should check out my YouTube channel and uh, look for the video labeled uh, Demo Time with Jonesy, uh, the Echomatic. Uh, that one's actually him demonstrating the pedal. Today I really just wanted to uh, show you how to hook up and use the Echomatic pedal and to set your uh, three-head cassette recorder. Now you can play with the settings on this. Uh, this has a slow and fast uh, tape speed. Uh, probably going to want it on the lower one. Um, if I go up to the standard, it's going to give me a little bit more faster, which you may want that too. Um, also, there's a website. Um, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but it's got a whole blog on the Echomatic. It's got the schematics and how to build it, and uh, also has a little uh, interesting mod of where you can tap into your uh, three-head tape recorder and hook up a potentiometer uh, to control the uh, tape speed and slow it down even more to give yourself more delay. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to show you on this today. I do have to ship this one out Monday. I didn't get, I wasn't able to ship it on Friday, so I just figured while I still have it, I might as well do a quick little demonstration on how to use it and show that it actually works. Thanks for watching.